What's up, guys? Artisers One here, and welcome back to another edition of Stories No One Asked for the podcast. And if you don't know by now, it's based off a little book that I wrote back in 2020. And upon numerous attempts of trying to write a follow-up, I just couldn't focus. So I figured why not take those stories that I would write for a second book and some stories that I wrote for the first book, and why not verbalize them into a podcast form? And that's what I do here on Stories No One Asked For The Podcast. Sometimes bring on some guests. Talk about the stories you didn't ask for with them either. Uh, And tonight, tonight's a big one. I know it's been like two months since I've done an episode. Last one we did with Wet Movie 1, which was uh, successful only because Brendan shared it out for us. Um, But hey, you know, whatever works, you know. Uh, But tonight is is a big one. It's a story I've been sitting on for a while. I've told some bits and pieces of it through YouTube Live. Uh, So we're going to talk about it in depth. Uh, as well as I can remember here tonight. Uh, but before we get to that story, we got to give a great shout out to the people over at MoviesRUSA.biz. It's a great website. We can go on over and find those hard to find streaming shows, hard to find movies in general, hard to find TV shows in general, and they'll put them on Blu ray disc for you for a great, reasonable price. And if that price just isn't reasonable enough for you, uh, you can use my checkout code, that being artist, A R T I S T, at checkout. And save yourself 50, 5 0, 50% on your entire purchase. And on top of all that, you're going to get free first class shipping as well. And for the very few international listeners that we have, um, if you also like moviesrusa.biz, you can also get free first class international shipping as well with your order. Plus, you can still use that 50% off code, which is artist AR. T-I-S-T at checkout. Over 3,500, probably close to 4,000 titles now. It's got to be closer to the 4,000. And 4,000 titles to choose from. Um, so, yeah. So, head on over to MoviesRUSA.biz today. And if you look through all the titles and they don't have what you want, just email them. Say, hey, I'm looking for this. He's more than happy to look up a title. Slap it on disc for you. Still use the 50% off code. Still get the free shipping. You know, all that and more over at moviesrusa.biz. Okay. Um, and also, I am uh, simulcasting this on YouTube. So if you hear me reading out a YouTube comment or question or something like that, that is why. Uh, but let's get into tonight's uh, story here. A story that I've been sitting on for a while. Um, just kidding. You know, if, if you remember a few episodes back, I did an episode on a on somebody I knew named Tatiana, and, like, uh, after I did that episode, kind of just opened up a can of worms that really didn't fucking (laughs) like opening, um, but I'm pretty sure this episode will do the same thing, but, you know, I've kind of come to terms with this one a little bit more, um, because, you know, after the realization, um, I've had about this person and everything, so let's get into it here, uh, this is about I guess a friend I had, I guess, um, uh, I've known them since 2003, I guess. So damn 20 years. I think that's some shit. Um, but like, here's the funny thing. Her name is Angelica. And like, I actually probably could have known them before 2003, like probably 99. I always heard about, um, I always heard about Angelica. You know, I never fucking met her. I always heard the lore, you know, so to speak of Angelica, you know, oh, did you hear what Angelica did? Oh, Angelica, this and that. I always heard about it all the way up until 2003 when we actually ended up in a class together. You know, it's strike that rewind a little bit. Me and my buddy Justice, we had lunch together. We had like three lunches um, at our school. So you had first lunch, second lunch third lunch and we all had third lunch me justice a couple other of our friends and shit and angelica and her little gang would sit behind us at the lunch table so like you know she would kind of like what's the word i'm looking for here establish dominance so to speak over us every now and then because like me and justice we would just get a little too fucking rambunctious and shit um what about the second breakfast but what um, we would get a little rambunctious to the point where like Angelica would be like, can y'all quiet down over there? So like, that was like my official introduction to her, but like the 
formal, I guess, introduction to her would be when we took drama together. And I mentioned this a little bit when uh, I did the Grease episode where we took Grease and everything. And that was like the first time I ever like, like, holy shit, this is what everybody's talking about, you know? And I got to tell you, man, she, she was a fucking, she was a fucking fox, man. You know, and still is. I'm not going to fucking lie about it. You know, she still is. And the thing that really made Angelica stand out in high school was like, well, there's no, there's no fucking putting it about it. Was her, was her chest, you know, like in high school, she had like, what? Oh God, she told me the size, but I don't remember. I want to say triple E, you know, like that was her cup size, triple E. So needless to say, she was a little popular, you know, with all the guys and everything. Um, but like, again, that's what you'd always hear about, you know, like, oh God, you see Angelica? Yeah, she looked, you know, like, and I, I knew I've seen her around and everything, never really talked to her or anything like that. It wasn't until we had drama together is when like, okay, now I get like the front row view, so to speak, you know? Um, but again, we didn't really share a lot of conversations. It wasn't like, Hey, what's up? What's going on? It was a hi there. Hello there. You know, the only time that like, because at one time in Greece, everybody in that class pissed me off at one time or another. Every single person, all 30 people or 29 people, except for like one person. I think it was Brandon. Everybody at one time or another had, had fucking brought me to a limit where they pissed me off. You know, and Angelica's turn was when, see, I'm a, uh, like I've stated before, I'm a very fucking, I wouldn't say method actor. But I'm a very, like, picky actor. Like, I, I only like to listen to people who are in charge and shit. And we had a director. And Angelica was not that director. And one day we were rehearsing. And, like, I'm trying to be off book. I still have the fucking script in my hand. And, like, I'm trying to sing this song because I had a solo. I had to do those magic changes and shit. So, like, I'm trying to do this solo. And she's like, well, Will, we can't hear you. You need to stand here. And I fucking ignored it. Because I'm just like, whatever, you're not the director. The director didn't tell me to do it, so I'm not going to fucking do it. Because I'm that much of a fucking prima donna like that. When it comes to acting. You know? <clears throat> so we run it again. And she's like, well, Will, you're not loud enough. You have to stand here. And I finally just threw my hands up. And finally said, fuck it, I'll stand there if it'll shut your ass up. And she had nerve enough to get fucking mad at me. You know, like, well, I don't know why you're getting an attitude for, you know, like, I'm just like, cause you're not the fucking director, you know, like it's a little shit like that is what fucking pisses me off and everything. I think I omitted that story from the Grease story, but there you go. Um, I didn't omit the bra story from Grease or yeah, or the Abercrombie story. Yeah. So those two are in there. You can go back and listen to those. But anyway. So. Again, Angelica was fucking smoking. Fucking smoke show. Not gonna fucking lie. Like, me and Justice would fucking have long fucking conversations about the hotness that is Angelica, you know? Um, even though Justice had a fucking committed girlfriend at the time, we would still have long conversations about it. To the point where, like, I miss school sometimes, and I would call Justice, like, what was she wearing today? And he'd be like, okay. You know, and he'd pull out his notebook. And No, I'm kidding. Maybe not that discreet. But or uh, descript, but still, you know. So anyway, that was pretty much the extent of our like high school quote unquote relationship. You know, it, it, we'd have like a cordial conversation every now and then, but it was really nothing like, "Hey, let's keep up after school and shit." You know. So with the advent of social media coming around, you know, MySpace, fucking Facebook, all that stuff, you know, you tend to reconnect with some people from your high school days, and I figure, why not? You know, let me let me link up with old Angelica here. You know. Went the MySpace route, and at the time, when she was on MySpace, she was actually on a quest to become a uh, professional singer. And she actually had some songs out, and they were actually pretty good. They're lost to time now, um, but they're actually pretty good. I might, I think I have one on, like, an old hard drive somewhere. Um, but, yeah, she was actually decent, you know? It wasn't just a fucking front. She was actually pretty decent. So, at the time, you know, I'm doing this podcast now. Um, well, at the time, back in 2009, I used to do like a, like, I guess the, the ghetto version of this, I would, um, record audio 
on Windows Movie Maker and, um, you know, kind of be like a show. I had a wrestling one, I had a movie one, and I had one that was just, you know, talk. It was just, you know, let's just chat. Let's shoot the shit. Let's see what's going on. And that's where I usually would put guests where, you know, they didn't really have like a wrestling or movie background and shit. So I figure, you know, Angelica's out here trying to become a singer and shit. Why don't I have her on? I mean, cool. So I wrote her a uh, MySpace message. It was like, hey, I do this show. I think you'd be great to come on. We can have a talk, da, 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 all this stuff. And she came on the show. You know, and we had this great conversation about an hour, hour and 20 minutes long and everything. She never remembered it. You know, she never remembered it to this day. Doesn't even fucking remember that we did that. You know, but I do. I fucking remember it. You know, um, so, so there we go. That's like the pregame, so to speak, to Angelica. Now, when we got on the Facebook world, we were kind of just there, you know, like, you, like, I can't tell you how many people's kids I've seen just grow up on Facebook, but like barely like drop in and say hi, you know, and that was essentially Angelica. I've seen like her kids grow up on Facebook, you know, every now and then I'll drop in and say like, you know, hey, what's up or something like that. But we were never really fucking like, so what are you up to this weekend? Oh my God, that sounds great. How are your kids? You know, we were never really like conversational, I guess would be the best way to put it. And then one night that all fucking changed. Um, now I just started selling autographs on YouTube or not YouTube. I'm sorry, Facebook. And you gotta understand, I've been on YouTube for like fucking 15 years. And like, again, I go live sometimes nightly, you know, I have Venmo, PayPal, cash app readily available in the description. I don't make fucking dick, you know? Um, I made more money in two months on YouTube selling autographs than at the time, 12 years, oh no, 13 years, I'm sorry, 13 years of YouTube. So, you know, hey. Um, so, one night, you know, I wake up, or one morning I wake up, I wake up at like 7 a.m., and there was a message from Angelica from like 5.30 in the morning. And I'm like, the fuck? Why is Angelica messaging me? It must be like a fucking bot or some shit. Somebody scammed her account or some shit. And it was pretty much like, hey, I know we haven't talked in a while. Wanted to see how you were doing. Um, everything like that. But uh, hey, I was curious if I could, you know, borrow $20 for gas. Uh, you know, I'm I'm pregnant right now, which was true. Um, I'm pregnant right now and like, I really don't know how I'm going to get my kid to school, but if you could help out, that'd be, that'd be great and everything. Now I had a couple extra bucks laying around and everything and it's fucking Angelica. You know, I still have the high school version of Angelica in my head at this point. So I'm just like, you know, it's 20 bucks and you know, it's to get her kid to school. Like, you know, if it were my kid to school, I would, I would really hope that somebody would help out. So I was like, you know, fuck it. Yeah. So I threw her to 20. No, I think it was 30, as a matter of fact. I think it was 30. 20 or 30, one of those two. So I threw her to 20, 30 bucks. And she was like, oh my God, thank you so much. And she was like, how are you doing? I was like, doing good. You know, working, getting by. You know, we had a short little cordial, cordial conversation. And that was it. That next week is when I actually caught COVID for the first time. So, like, I'm fucking in bed just dying. You know? And then that second week is when you start to recover and everything. So I get a message from her again. And it was just like, hey, I'm sorry. I hate to bother you like this again. But is there any way that I can borrow $20 from you? Da, 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 da. And I was just like, I would. But, like, I've had COVID for the last week and a half. And I haven't been working. So, like, yeah, I'm sorry, but I can't. You know? And it was just like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry to hear that and everything. I hope you feel better. Da, 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 da. And, again, that was that. You know? I didn't think anything about it. You know? So I get over COVID, I head back to work, and lo and behold, again, I think it was like a fucking 3.30 in the morning text message, you know? It's same song and dance, I'm not going to keep fucking repeating the message, but it was the same song and dance, like, hey, need help, da 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 And again, it was like 20 bucks. So I was just like, alright, fine, you know? I was like, here you go, you know, like, fucking whatever. 
So again, she says thank you and everything. And and again, we kind of have like a cordial conversation. Like, oh, what have you been up to since school? All this, you know. Um, then we start getting like a little bit more personal. You know, it starts to get a little bit more personal and shit. Like, oh yeah, back in high school, you know, start to get a little bit more personal and everything. You know. Then then it really starts to take a turn because like I know she has a boyfriend. I know she's pregnant with, she's like nine months pregnant at this point, you know? So, like, I'm trying not to push any fucking boundaries here. I mean, like, talking about, like, high school and how, how like, me and Justice thought about her in high school, that's one thing, you know? But, like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, God, can we fuck right now? Like, I'm not going to do that because she has a boyfriend and all that shit, you know? But then, but then it, it, it took a fucking turn. You know, she's messaging me every day, like, "Hey, what's up? What are you up to?" And she, blah, blah, blah. and then eventually, though, there would there would be like the fucking money grab, you know. And like I, again, I may be you know dumb looking and shit. Um, but I was just like, okay, wait a minute, I kind of see where this is going. You know, I fucking spot the fucking yellow brick road here, so to speak. You know, so. But I was like, you know what? If she's telling the truth, and this is for her kids and everything like that, then you know what? All right, I'm going to help her out. You know? So, again, it wasn't like like astronomical amounts of money. It wasn't like, I need a grand. And I'm like, here you go. There's a grand for you. It was like 20, 25 bucks here, 30 bucks there, shit like that. You know? It became a problem when it was like every other day. That's when I was just like, okay, I see it. I see it. I'm not stupid. I see what's going on here. You know, I'm a fucking glorif. I'm, I'm a low. I'm a low rent sugar daddy. You know, so finally she hits me up one day, and she's like, "So hey, what's up? What are you up to?" I was like, "Not much, but uh, I actually need to talk to you." And she was just like, "Oh no, what?" I was like, "Listen, listen, listen, listen. I, I, I don't mind helping you out when I have the money." You know, like if fucking your kid's sick or something like that. I don't mind helping you out if if you have the money. If I have the money. The problem I'm having with it is, how come you're not asking your boyfriend for help? Because I'm starting to feel like you're treating me like some weird sugar daddy. You know? And the gist of it was, was basically like her boyfriend keeps her on a tight leash. You know, like doesn't really let her go out anymore because she's pregnant. You know, want to make sure the baby's safe, da 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 And I'm like, all right, that kind of makes sense. You know, like, he controls the money and everything. I'm like, all right, that kind of makes sense. You know, like, why tell your boyfriend, like, hey, I'm getting money from another dude. But also, like, why aren't you helping out? You know, like, I, I saw both sides of the coin on that. You know, again, naive fucking me at the time and shit. So anyway, a little bit more time goes by. And all of a sudden, just one day, I stop hearing from her. Like, for fucking three days, or at least two days. I stop fucking hearing from her. And, um, let me mark this out so I can keep my track. Um, I stop hearing from her. So all of a sudden, one day I'm at work, and I think I'm like, I'm either going to the bathroom or like I'm changing some cartridges in the Coke machine, one of the two. And the phone rings. And it's a number I don't know. And, you know, my strict policy when it comes to answering numbers I don't know is that, like, I answer, I give you two hellos. Hello? Hello? If nobody answers after that second hello, I hang up. I don't give a fuck. Whatever fucking... It could be, hey, we have a million dollars for you. Nope. You didn't say anything about that second hello? I don't give a shit. I hang up. So I answer. I'm like, hello? And I'm about to hit the second hello when I hear Angelica's voice. And she was like, hey. I was like, oh, hey, what's up, you know? And she was just like, I had the baby. I'm at the hospital. And I'm like, and you memorized my number? Because, you know, her phone was dead, you know? So I'm just like, and you memorized my number to call me? I'm like, think about this, you know? Like, probably the baby daddy is around, somewhere around, you know? She's at the hospital with her newborn child. And she calls me. And I was just like, all right, something suspicious is, is, is going on here. You know? So anyway, um, 
we're talking and everything. Um, and I was like, all right, well, just, you know, call me later whenever you get out the hospital and everything like that. Cool. Awesome. Bye. She calls me when she gets out of the hospital. First fucking thing right out the bed. Hey, can I have 30 bucks for, you know, fucking. Okay, cool. You know, so I shoot the money over. Like, I swear, if you, if you looked at my cash app records from that time, oh my God, it was. Yeah, I was a low rent sugar daddy. Um, I was a brown. No. What's like below sugar? Sugar substitute. I was a sugar substitute daddy. That's what I was. Yeah, there we go. Let's go with that. Um, so she gets out, and all of a sudden, we just... I, I honestly don't know how we got to it. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. It was, um... Like, hey, you should just start in OnlyFans. Sweet and low daddy. There we go. Sweet and low daddy. That's a good one. Um, but I eventually told her, I was like, hey, if you need money so bad, you should just start in OnlyFans. You know, like... I mean, I told her straight up. I was like, you have a great body for it? I mean, fuck, I'd pay for it. And shit like that. Then it then it turned into like, um, well, if I did sell pictures of myself, it would have to be more more than twenty bucks. I was like, that's a fair point, you know, because at time that's why I was giving her like twenty bucks here, twenty bucks there, you know. But she was like, you know what? I am gonna send you something as like a thank you for helping me out and shit. I was like, right on. And then boom, like thirty minutes later, there's a fucking picture of her nude. And it was like fucking the angels sang, you know, and then I had to turn on the radio. Um, fuck you, that was a good joke. Um, so you got to think, from the first time I've seen her in high school till fucking then, you know, it was like, that's the dream right there to see her naked, you know. Justice too, justice going to fucking att uh, attest to it as well. It was just like, that's the dream, we're going to see her naked one day, you know. And I, I did it before he did, you know. So, what the hell? Um, sorry, just a moment here. All right. Um, so, um, so now we're to the point where, like, okay, I send a little bit of money she needs for what she needs, and fucking I get photos in return. So it's like, fucking A, right? So, all right, that's a good trade off and shit like that, you know? Then she hits me with the, um, she calls me one night. No. Okay, so check this out. So, I'm sleeping one night. Okay? Obviously. Everybody sleeps one night. Um, so, it's like 3 in the morning. And I think I hear, like, my Facebook Messenger go off. I didn't think anything about it. Like, if it's 3 o'clock in the morning I hear Facebook Messenger going off, one, you're either going to piss me off, or two, I just ignore it. You know? So I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever. Next thing I know, the fucking phone rings. Like the actual fuck, my actual fucking phone. I'm like, what the hell, man? So I answer the phone. I'm like groggy and shit. I'm like, hello. And it's fucking her. It's Angelica. She was just, it's she. you can tell she's been crying and shit, you know? Like, hello. I was just like, yeah, what's up? And she was just like, um, me and fucking dude broke up. He threw me out. And shit like that. I'm stuck downtown and I need an Uber. And I'm just like, oh my God. I was just like, how much? And she was like, $60. And I'm like, what fucking Uber is 60 fucking dollars? You know? Like, yeah, I was like, what fucking Uber is $60? So I'm just like, oh fuck, man. Uh, and again, this is, you know, this is, now let me just state right here, if I haven't stated it already, let me just state right here that everything that she has told me, I, I am taking with the truth. Like, oh, you need $60 for an Uber? Okay, cool. I did have her make me prove that one to me, though. I was like, I want you to show me that it's a $60 Uber. And I'll be damned, she did show me it was a $60 Uber. You know? There was another one she showed, oh yeah, I'll get to that one, okay. But, um... I was like, okay, fine. So I throw it at $60 and shit, you know? So, uh, so once I wake up and get, you know, resituated and everything, uh, you know, we end up talking. And I was just like, so what happened with you and fucking dude and shit? And apparently he got upset, you know, that she was doing God knows what. Um, he threw her out pregnant, all this shit. And she has no place to go. So she's like fucking trying to get by, da da da, all this shit. I'm like, well, fuck, that sucks. 
So then it turns into fucking, hey, can I borrow some money for a hotel? And I'm like, okay, how much is that? She was just like, oh, the stay at this one, it's uh, $70. And I'm like, 70 what? You know, I'm like, oh, my God. But, again, I had the extra. So I was just like, you know, I don't want the girl living on the street, you know, with a pregnant, with a, you know, with a baby, you know. So I was just like, fine, fuck it. So she her money for it. And that essentially is how our relationship became for a little bit. We talk, we fucking get on cam with each other, we fucking do this, we do that. Um, you know, then fucking one day she fucking flips the script on me, you know? Um, cause again, remember you gotta think like, I still, I was still living with the fucking high school embodiment of Angelica. Like the whole time I'm talking to her and shit. Yeah. I've seen her naked and all this shit, but like in my brain, I still have the fucking high school embodiment of her and shit. If that's, you know, if you can understand that. So, um, one day we're like talking about something. I honestly don't remember. I'd have to go back and look through it. Cause I still have all the fucking messages that we sent, you know, cause I was saving them for an occasion like this, like the podcast or like when I actually wrote it for the book is what I was really saving it for. Um, cause I, then I can be like, Oh, I have all the receipts, which I do, but I'd have to go back and see what led to it. But I, I just remember the next sentence she said was just like, um, um, I'm falling for you harder than I thought I was. And I was just like, big pardon. What was that again? And she was like, well, yeah, I mean, talking to you over the past few w- months and, you know, everything like that, you know, it's bound to happen. You know, I was just like, huh? You know, cause like, you know, that's, that's, um, that's, uh, that's unlike, <laughs> let's just put it like this. Girls that look like her don't go for guys that look like me. Let's just put it like that. That's the easiest way to fucking put it. You know, it was just like, girls that look like her don't go for guys that look like me and shit. You know? So, I think we kind of like, you know, patched a hole in that and fucking moved on. Because I was just like, whatever, I'm not going to dwell on that. Because it's just, it's one of those things where I'm just like, okay, let's say she has fallen for me. Alright? I'm not going to fucking pull a trigger of any kind. I'm not going to fucking act on it. Because like, you know... It could just be for the money. You know, because, like, yeah, I'm helping her out and everything. And, like, yeah, she's saying it's for this and for that. But, like, still, something tells me I'm still, like, a fucking piggy bank here. Like, she knows that, like, oh, if she needs 20 bucks, she can go to Will and shit. And don't get me wrong. There were times where, like, I said fucking no. You know, there was times where I'm just like, you know what? Like, I can't. I don't have the money. Like, you know, like, she fucking... Bled me dry some weeks and everything like that. And there was times where I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't have 30 bucks, you know. That or I just didn't want to fucking give it to her. Because I had other shit that I had to pay for. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I didn't really fucking read too much into the whole, like, I'm falling for you type of thing. Until she was just, like, being more flirty than usual. You know, being more flirty. Uh, you know, being a little bit more friendly. being You know, talking to me more often. Calling me. You know, sending me pictures, like, out of the blue. Like, I remember being at work one day, and she was like, here's something to get you through the work day. And it was like, you know, sexy pictures and shit like that. And I was like, oh, fuck, okay. You know, I couldn't send sexy pictures back because, you know, I'm not, you know, sexy. Um, But I was just like, okay, this is... And then the the kicker to it was, was uh, one night I was on YouTube, and um, uh, I was, uh, you know, some bullshit was happening. And everything. And uh, so she calls me. And I'm like laying in my room afterwards. And uh, she she could tell I was just not in a good mood. You know. Um, so she was like what's wrong. And I was like ah just fucking bullshit on YouTube. And she was like what do you mean. And I was like ah fucking this and that and this. And then like then some assholes left some comments. She was like what were the comments. And I told her what the comments were and everything. Like, I pulled them up. And I was like, okay, this one says this. And she was like, what the fuck? 
And I was like, and this one says this. And then she was like, what, what does that mean? Because I had to give her the context behind it and shit. I was like, well, they mean because this and this happened. So they said this. And, and she was like, what the fuck? She was like, you know what? I'm going to go there and say something. And I was like, are you really? She was like, yeah, these are the, the advantages of dating a Libra. And I was like, hold on. Let's let's back up. You know, I turned into Will Smith there. I was like, time out, offsides, traveling, foul. Um, beg pardon? Did you say dating a Libra? And she was just like, yeah. You know, and I'm just like, huh. Okay. I, I didn't know we were dating now. This is unaware to me. You know, this is this is all, yeah, flag on the play. Yeah. Um, I was like, this is all new to me. Like, I didn't, I didn't know we were dating now. When did we make this official? You know? Um, but she was just like, no, I don't mean it, you know, like that. But, like, you know, I'm just like, okay, now, now I'm confused again. You know, so I'm just like, okay, she she's digging you for whatever fuck reason. I guess money. You know, she's digging you for whatever fuck reason. She fucking says this is the advantage of dating a Libra. So, like, fuck, why don't I go for it? It's fucking Angelica. You know, like, fucking, how cool would that fucking be? You know, like, fucking, after all these years, you fucking scored Angelica. Like, fucking, how cool would that fucking be, right? So, we finally have what, you know, people like to call the come to Jesus moment. And we sit down and have a talk about this, and it's basically like, like, I don't know how it got flipped on me. And to this day, I think, like, fucking, she, well, obviously she played me. But, like, she played me in this conversation because she was just like, um, well, ever since my last boyfriend, um, I, you know, I don't think I'll ever belong to fucking one person ever again. And that it, I'm like, yeah, but didn't you just say you we were date, the advantages of dating a Libra and everything? Like, wait a minute, I'm so confused now. You know, like, I think you're fucking with me here. No, no, I'm not fucking with you. It's just she was fucking with me. Um... So it's just like, huh, okay. You know, so a part of me was just like, maybe I read too far into this. You know, maybe I did fuck up, but I, it, it wasn't. It, 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 considering what comes up later, I didn't. You know, uh, this was all fucking her and shit. So we had that talk about, like, getting together, and she was just like, no, 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 that's not what I meant, everything like that. So then it became, like, a relationship. She'd call me every night. We'd talk and everything. Meanwhile, there's still fucking money at play. You know, like one time she asked me to pay. Well, she didn't ask me. All right. Let, let me, I took it upon myself to do it. Let's just be clear here. But she has a storage container, you know, a storage bin. And apparently she has like her furniture and shit in there. And if she loses it, whenever she gets a new place, um, is, you know, she loses all of her furniture and shit. So I just got my tax return, you know, and usually with my tax return, I like to go out and buy something a little extravagant, you know, and put the rest away and shit like that. I, I didn't buy anything extravagant, you know? So we were talking about her, um, her storage container. She was like, yeah, if I ever get a new place and I lose my storage container, then fucking... You know, I won't have any furniture or a bed to, to start anew and everything. And I'm listening to her and shit. And um, meanwhile, I'm bringing up my PayPal as I fucking talk to her. And I was just like, listen, I want you to know that, like, usually when I get my tax return, I usually like to buy something extravagant. And she was like, you do? And I was like, yeah. But I, I was like, I guess in this case, I could help you out. And I hit send on the PayPal, you know. And... She showed me a picture of the storage container, the overdue bill and everything. It was $125, $125. So I was like, well, there you go. And she was like, oh, my God, thank you so much. You know, um, so, again, we revisit the fucking, like, you know, hey, are we, is, is this a thing or not? And according to her, it wasn't. And I'm just like, where... where? Am I missing something here? Because now I'm thinking, like, okay, it's got to be me. Because, like, I don't understand what I'm fucking missing here. Because here I am doing, like, all the relationship shit. I'm taking care of her. I'm taking, quote, unquote, taking care of her kids. Because she would call me and be like, hey, my daughter asked for 20 bucks for this. Do you think you can help out? 
because she had three kids, and I'm just like, yeah, I guess I can help out for the kids, because you got to get in good with the kids, you know, if you're not in good with the kids, then you're not, you're not going to be good in with the mom, you know, so that was my thought process with that one, you know, so I was just like, all right, I'll help out the kids and shit, so it was just like, all right, help out, I've even talked to one of her kids, I've talked to one of her kids on numerous occasions, you know, so I'm just like, all right, you got to get in good with the kids and everything, and, and but still, it was just like, oh no, no, again, this isn't a relationship, Will. I'm just like, what, what am I fucking missing here? Like, it, it, it like again, like, am I missing it here? Because like, it, this seems like a relationship without the title, you know. So again, I go back and I'm just like, you know, hey, title, you know, and it's just like, no, no, no. So finally, one day, um. I go on TikTok, you know, because at the time I was on TikTok and everything. And, you know, I had Angelica on TikTok. And I sent her a copy of my book because uh, she wanted to read it. That and I told her that there was a part I wrote about her in the book at one part. Um, So her uh, TikTok profile picture is her holding the book. Like, her holding the book. And I was like, wow, ain't that something, man? Like, finally, some fucking proof that we're, like, together or some shit. You know what I mean? So, like, I messaged her on TikTok. And I was just like, hey, nice profile picture. And she was like, you like that? And I was just like, yeah, finally, some type of fucking proof that we're together. You know? And then, fucking, that's that's where it fucking unraveled. Right there. Because she was just like, Will, I told you, I'll never belong to one person ever again I mean if you want to call me a girlfriend you can but I'm not I was like what the f I was like all right you know what that's it I'm fucking done you know I'm 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 fucking done like at that point I was just like you you have fucking borrowed I don't know not borrowed because that was a term that she got on me for like when I fucking did my next move so let's just say took you took fucking all this money from me Fucking said we were dating at least twice, you know, like, and you're like, oh no, we're not a couple. I was just like, I'm fucking done. So I didn't talk to her for like fucking two days. You know, like I had fucking avoided her calls. I avoided her text messages. Finally, I was just like, I'm done. Like, you know, I'm fucking over it. So like I sent her a text message that pretty much just said like, listen, you know, whatever it is in life you're looking for, I hope you find it. You know, goodbye. And she was like, what's the matter with you? Like, what's your problem? And I, I just, I think I just put SMH. I think I just shook my head. And I was just like, mm. and I left it as that. Because I'm just like, how are you, how are you so oblivious to this? You know? Um, Plus at one, oh yeah, you know, let me back up a little bit. Plus at one point, she would disappear for like three days at a time. Without telling me because she would be staying in like women's shelters and shit. And they take your phone away and all this shit. And I'm just like, okay, like what the fuck? You know, you could have told me you were going to a women's shelter before fucking turning off your phone. You know, um, you got tired of giving it. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I got tired of giving her free money. And like, again, like if we're dating and shit like that, I'm more than happy to help out if I can. You know, you need fucking 20 bucks for your kid. Here's 20 bucks for your kid. You need 20 bucks for you. Here's 20 bucks for you. If, you know, I have it, you know, but in that situation, here you are saying that like, oh yeah, fucking, this is what it's like dating a Libra and like fucking, you're sending me fucking naughty pictures on a fucking nightly basis and shit like that. And fucking, you know, here you are saying like, oh, this is not a relationship. I'll never, I'll never belong to one person ever again. And da, 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 all this shit. So that's, that's why I was just like, you know what, whatever it is in life you're looking for, I hope you find it. You know, like that, that just shows you that like, I don't give a fuck how hot you are. I'm fucking done. But you know, I come back, but whatever. Um, so I didn't talk to her, you know, I, I was fucking done with it and shit. Then I see on Facebook that she posts like this sappy fucking post of her and her ex, uh, her ex-boyfriend, you know, about like how they were meant to be together and all this shit. And I just shook my head at it. I was like, you are fucking kidding me. He throws you out when you were pregnant and all this shit. And you two are just fucking, 
okay. So I was like, you know what? I'm saying something. So I message her. I text message her too. And I was just like, hey, nice to know you two work things out. That was my fucking like, boom, right there. You know, like fucking my, my gut shot right there. You know, like, ah, you got back together with fucking trash and shit like that. You know, fucking, ha, ah, nice to see you two worked out. Then she texts me back and she was just like, he died last night. And I was like, ah, like a fucking real collar pull throw, uh, you know, collar pull type, type of situation and shit. Like, nah, I shouldn't have fucking said that. So I felt bad. So I was like, okay. Um, all right. If you need to talk to me, you can call me. Cause she knew I was pissed. You know, she was like, all right, I'll call you around this time. And I was like, all right, I get off. Then you can call me. So I get off of work. I go to the car and lo and behold, she fucking calls me. And I was like, so can you, can you tell me what happened? Like, you know, are you, are, do you not want to talk about it? She's like, no, 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 I can tell you what happened. So she tells me that they're both in a hotel room and they're about to like fucking get it on. And I was like, wait a minute, back up. You know, I was like, let's, let's pause right there. Um, I know you don't give a shit about my feelings. And she was like, oh, there it is. It's always about you again. I'm like, okay, fucking whatever. You know, I was like, I know you don't give a shit about my, my feelings, but like this whole time you two have been broken up. Have you two been fucking? And there was like a pause. And she was like, well, yeah, but I'm like, okay, all right, continue. And I just skipped past it. Cause I was just like, fucking really? Like, okay. Um, and then she told me about fucking what happened and everything. Um, so I I was already just like fucking irritated cuz I mean don't get me wrong it's sad that dude died and shit like that but like basically you're sitting here saying like oh yeah fucking dating a libra and shit like that and you're still fucking some other dude you know so like I'm a little peeved by then you know so um I'm just like okay listen I know you're distraught if you need anything give me a call you know so, that, the next day, she's just like, um, I'm going to a birthday party for my kid. Um, is there a way you could send me $40? She's going through a lot right now, all this shit. So, I was just like, okay. So, I sent her the $40, right? So, I check on her from time to time. Because I don't want to be a complete asshole to her right now. Because, again, her ex-boyfriend died. She's not in a good place. Da -da -da -da, all this shit. So, I, I at least check in on her. Like, hey, you doing okay? You, you doing all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. It just sucks. And, uh, you know, whatever. So, like, I try and go, like, into, I guess, you know, what would be called will mode. I guess. Try and, try and throw some jokes at her. Try and, you know, cheer her up a little bit and everything. And it works for the most part. You know, again, obviously she's still going to be sad, but, um, but then one night she fucking hits me with a fucking text message. Um, she hits me with a text message. She was just like, you know, I feel like we can't do our little fucking playful flirt anymore. And I feel like we can't do this and that. And then she hit me with the fucking line that just, I was fucking done. To this day, I have not said another fucking word to her. I have not tried to contact her. I have fucking I have deleted fucking TikToks that she has liked and reposted them just because she has liked them because of this fucking one phrase that she has said in this text message. But it was basically, you know, you know I feel like we can't have our little flirty relationship anymore. Da -da -da -da. And then at the bottom, she was like, I always thought of you as a gay best friend. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, that's what you got from all of this? You know? And on top of all that, she thought the previous 11 months that have gone by, you know, her saying that, like, oh, dating a Libra, and, like, fucking, I'm falling for you, and no, no, no. She thought it was all just a fantasy. She thought it was all one big fucking role-playing thing. Like, we were role-playing. And I'm like... What? 
Like, I ran that past Jax and her other friend, Carla, and they're just like, what? I was like, you got me. I've heard some fucking excuses before, but that was one that was new to me. You know, like, oh, I was just role-playing. Like, damn, okay. So, uh, I, re- I read that, and I'm like, okay, I- I- I'm officially done with this, you know? So, I read the text message, I turn off the phone, and I fucking turn away. The next morning, there's a text message from her. It was basically like, hey, I saw that. Because, you know, on iPhone, you can see when people have read your message and shit. So, it was basically like, hey, I saw that you read the message and didn't respond. Although, there was really nothing to respond to. And I'm like, that almost did it. I was just like, oh, no, because there was plenty to respond to, but I didn't. You know, I was just like, just ignore it. Fucking, it's done. It's over. You know? And then, finally, she called me that that afternoon at, like, 4 o'clock. You know, maybe 3. And I just looked at it. I put it on silent, and I haven't heard from her since. The only time I have heard from her is when, like like I said, I I think she liked the TikTok I did. And I was like, really? You have the audacity to like one of my TikToks? I deleted it and reposted it just because she liked it. That's the only reason and shit. So here are two PSs to the fucking story. Okay. I like to watch somebody on YouTube named Tina Tiscones. And I'll be honest, the content's good, but I mainly watch her because she's because she's hot. And her the whole premise of her fucking content is apparently she used to be in jail for like years, in and out of jail for years. And uh, she shows you what it's like in jail. She shows you, like, what it's like to be an addict. Like, addict behavior. All this shit. So one day I'm watching one of her videos. And it was pretty much, like, addict behavior. Like, this is what an addict does. And it was a video of somebody like, Hey, can I have some money for this hotel room? And I'm like, hmm. Isn't that weird? You know? Isn't that a coincidence? You know? Anyway. So then the next clip, it was just like, hey, can I have some money for this? You know, can I have some money to get an Uber? And I was like, that's when the antenna went up. I was like, huh. All right, well, two coincidence. That's, you know, hey, can I have some money to get something to eat? And I'm like, wait a minute. I've heard all this before, you know? And it was basically a video of saying, like, how um, people with addiction get money out of people to get money for addiction. You know, and I was just like, Oh, like it finally hit me, you know, it hit me like a fucking ton of bricks. I was like, Oh, that's what she was doing. You know, she was fucking getting money for whatever the drug of her choice was. You know, it finally fucking hit me. I was supplying a fucking habit the whole time. You know, the final PS to this story is, um, uh, I was, you know, we're, we're, believe it or not, we're still friends on Facebook. I just don't fucking talk to her, you know? So, uh, the final PS, uh, I was scrolling Facebook one day and apparently she moved to Texas, which, okay, good for her, you know? And then it was like, oh, she's in a relationship with this person. I was just like, you lying, conniving little fucking bitch. You fucking lied to me. You know, it's one thing to, to, to fucking like, no, I don't want to date you. But to give me this fucking long diatribe about fucking, oh, no, I'll never belong to one person again. And like, I'll never be in a relationship. And then you get into a relationship. You lying, conniving bitch. Like, you, can, I, I would rather you just go the fucking first route. Where it's just like, no, it's you. I would much rather you go that route other than fucking like, no, I'll never belong to a single person again or be a girlfriend or a wife, you know, but like you fucking bitch, you know, like that, that fucking believe it or not made me more mad than probably anything. Out of anything that happened in this whole story, that was the one that made me mad the most, you know, fuck the money. Money's money. You know, fucking, it comes and goes in your life and shit. But, like, that fucking lie right there is what fucking just, just set me over the fucking edge with that one. 
you know. So yeah, that is the story of Angelica. Uh, that is a story that you didn't ask for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Stories No One Asked For. That's going to do it for me here. I don't even know if I've been recording this whole time, to be honest with you. So we're about to find out. So until then, guys, I am the Yards Version 1. And remember, be breezy.